so Evan, uh, this narrative out there that the Dodgers are bad for baseball, that they're the villains because they're spending money and actually paying players, what a novice idea. If you could be a villain for a day, what villain would you be? Wow, that's an interesting question. Um, first one that came to mind is the Joker. I don't really have a good explanation why. I think he might just be the first villain I thought. Is the complexity, is that what draws your attention to the Joker? I mean, were you a comic book guy as a kid? You know, not so much as a kid, but I, I do love the Marvel comics. Um, and I think uh, The Dark Knight came out when I was in middle school or high school. So uh, it was a very popular movie at the time. The Joker... Um, God, what's the actor's name? He's Heath Ledger. Heath Ledger, thank you. He did such a wonderful job uh, doing the character. So I think that was so uh, encapsulating for a lot of guys. I think I uh, just drew a lot of interest to it. So that's probably why I went with the Joker. So we're seeing a lot of players out here tonight. You guys repeatedly, you went to the Justin Turner Foundation last year. Why is it so important to support teammates and their causes? You know, I think specifically in this case, too, it's a way for us to get back together. So I think, you know, we, we go home for the off season and we come out here for FanFest and have the opportunity to, to do community events, to do uh, charity events for teammates, things like that. It's a great opportunity to get back with each other and, and hang out, catch up, plus support each other's, uh, you know, hopes for, for their foundations. Uh, a call back here. We know you're a coffee connoisseur. How many cups of coffee have you had today? And is there a new brand that perhaps you can turn our listeners, our viewers onto? Something you may have discovered that you would like to recommend? Uh, okay, sure. Well, to start, I've had two large cups of coffee today. Uh, Fan Fest, you know, it's a whirlwind, so it's kind of uh, interrupted my, my normal coffee intake. But two large cups of coffee, and then I want to shout out my, uh, my home coffee shop in Florida. It's Perk, P-E-R-Q. And then uh, generally, a Counterculture is a, uh, a roastery out of uh, Durham, North Carolina. That's back where I grew up. So Counterculture is definitely something you can find, order online, a lot of good coffee. There you have it. Evan knows his coffee, people. Thank you very much, yeah, Evan. Good luck on the season. Thank you.